This is a very interesting question. In the embryology laboratory, clinical embryologists indirectly evaluate oocyte quality and its competence by assessing oocyte maturation status as well as a pleiad of morphological features. To further elaborate on that, immediately following oocyte retrieval, we assess the architecture and texture of the cumulus oocyte complex. At this stage, oocytes are surrounded by several cells, namely cumulus cells, which support oocyte development. If the cumulus oocyte complex is compacted, probably the oocyte is immature. On the other hand, an expanded, fluffy-looking cumulus oocyte complex indicates that probably the oocyte is mature. Following this step, we have the choice to deeply assess oocyte quality by completely removing the cumulus cells in order to have a direct and a clear picture of the oocyte. This procedure is well, knows, uh, well known as denudation. At this point, we are able to comprehensively assess both oocyte maturity and morphology. A mature oocyte, a oocyte is characterized by the absence of a visible nucleus in the presence of a small cell-like structure described as the first polar body. Only these oocytes are able to be normally fertilized because only these have successfully completed the first meiotic division. Unfortunately, immature oocytes cannot be fertilized. It is, it is generally recognized that under normal circumstances, the 85% of the retrieved oocytes have successfully matured and only the 15% of them are immature. Except from the maturation status, we can also evaluate several morphological features of the oocyte, which are strongly associated with oocyte quality and its competence. Generally, clinical embryologists assess the size and the shape of the egg, the presence or the absence of intracytoplasmic features such as vacuoles, the architecture of the polar body, as well as the characteristics of the zona pellucida. At this point, it should be noted that the presence of some abnormal morphological features does not necessarily mean cycle failure. Morphological assessment of oocyte quality helps clinical embryologists and clinicians to design the appropriate management strategy in order to increase the chances of in vitro fertilization success.